Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here. If you've been in our candle department at the store, you know how beautiful and inspiring it is. And what we want to do today is give you our top five tips to get the most out of your candle. Tip number one is to burn the, the right candle for the right amount of time. So let's say you're gonna take a bath, um, 30 minutes, you probably wanna start with a small candle because the goal is to burn the wax uh, straight across the surface of the candle so that it's all liquid. You don't wanna have a hole uh, burning down the candle with a hard edge. You want it to be melted all the way across every time you burn it. So for a small amount of time, burn a small candle. Uh, for a large, longer amount of time, for instance, this big, uh, gigantic hearth candle from Velespa, this one you can burn for several, several hours. So if you're having a big dinner party and you want your candle burning for five or six hours, you can go with this big candle um, and it'll burn beautifully and evenly all the way down, getting the most out of your candle. Tip number two is to always trim your wick. So you can do this really simply, it's, it's easy. Just take your candle um, straight out of the box, actually. You can always trim it down right before you burn it. Uh, you wanna cut it uh, to about a quarter of an inch. Just take your scissors over the sink, trim the wick down, um, and it'll also prevent the wick from smoking and getting that smoke into the air. So it's a nice, clean burn. Uh, you can also trim your wick while it's burning if you have this handy little tool. So let's say you're hosting a dinner party and you notice your candles are starting to smoke. There's no need to blow the candles out. You can just come along, trim your wick. No one will be the wiser. And the party can continue with your beautiful candles. Tip number three. You always wanna to try to avoid burning your candles in drafty areas, so beside a door or a window. If you're seeing that the flame is starting to flicker, then what that's going to do is it's gonna burn uh, sporadically and you're not gonna get that nice even burn and you're gonna get more smoke in the air. So to try to keep your candle away from drafts is super helpful. Um, one of the things that I do is I also put my candle in a vessel like this. So it just helps to keep the wind uh, away from the candle and it looks pretty too. So tip number four. The other thing that we highly recommend is if your candle comes with a lid, just store it with the lid on it if you're not burning. It'll keep the scent uh, lasting longer and it'll keep from dust settling on the wax and it looks prettier. Tip number five always clean your glass. So once you've blown your candle out and the, the wax has hardened again, you can take a little damp cloth, um, grab your candle and just clean the outer edge of the glass with a little, a little bit of Windex or just warm water and it keeps the vessel nice and clean so you can keep using it. Um, and even after when the wax is totally melted, you can have a lovely vessel for bays or for your pencils and get the most out of your money. You can shop all of these beautiful candles in store and online. We change our scent seasonally, so there's always something new for you to see. Um, we really want you to get the most out of your money. So thanks for watching. See you next time.